Hey guys, what's going on? This is that one guy who games, and this is actually going to be the very first video I'm putting up on this YouTube channel. It's going to be an unboxing and quick review of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Collector's Edition for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, before I get too deep into that, though, real quick, I just want to uh, say something. I'm sure you've noticed, but uh, I'm sure the sound quality in this video isn't very high. My voice probably sounds a little distorted or weird, and I'm sure the video resolution isn't very good either. Uh, real quick, I just want to say I did have a higher quality camera that I was going to uh, plan on using for this video. It unfortunately broke a few days ago, guys, and um, I have to make do with this camera until I get a better one. I do have one on order, but that probably won't come in for another couple of weeks. So, uh, enough of that for now. Let's get into the actual review and unboxing. So what do you get with this? Well, right on the front of this box, you'll see it says it includes a Wii Remote Plus and a Zelda Music CD. There we go, it's a little bit better focus. Uh, and it comes with a picture of the Wii Remote Plus. It's a special gold color for this game. It's a, uh, got a, also got a little uh, Zelda symbol right over the uh, speaker on the controller right there. And below it, it also has a picture of the included music CD. And uh, real quick, I just want to mention, this music CD, unlike the remote, is actually not only found in the collector's edition. If you hurry and buy a first-run copy of this game, which basically means any games that they ship first, you can get the music CD with actually just the standard edition of the game alone and not only the collector's edition. So if you want to save some money but still want this CD, you can also get the standard edition and still have that for a little bit while longer. And uh trying to get my hand over this here, but I think you can notice... The uh, box actually has a very, like, uh, sh very shiny texture to it. You can kind of see my shadow moving very easily. It's a little uh, cool effect they added to the box. I kind of like it. And uh, what we got here? On this side of the box, it says Zelda 25th Anniversary. And uh, flipped over to the other side. And a Zelda Skyward Sword symbol. Very cool. We got the back of the box here. I uh, got a lot of images from the game. Very colorful says right here, Birth of the Legend. In order to save Zelda, his childhood friend, a young man named Link, must answer the call of destiny and set out on a great quest. Uh, basically the setup for this game, it's actually a uh, prequel to the Legend of Zelda series, the very first one in the timeline, uh, taking place even before Ocarina of Time, which until now has been the very first game in the timeline. Uh, that's the top of the box, another Skyward Sword symbol. I already did open this, and just to test some of the stuff out, so it's a tab right there, and then other than that, the box is already open, nothing else is required. Uh, what, what do you get? First thing you get is the game itself. Uh, basically the exact same as the front of the Collector's Edition box. In case you, uh, notice right here, it has a Zelda 25th Anniversary symbol again. That's really the only difference between this and the actual box I just showed you, and uh, real quick, the back is the exact same as the box also. Inside, you get your music CD right here. Flip that over for you. Uh, pretty cool music CD. I checked it out. Uh, it actually has a playlist of all the tracks on it. I'll get to that real quick. But before that, whoops, uh, we got the actual game disc itself for Skyward Sword. Uh, very colorful uh, disc art here. I really like it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Over here, we got a Club Nintendo packet of information. I did already redeem this, so that's why I'm zooming in on the code right now. Just so you guys know, this is no longer going to do anything. I already redeemed it. Uh, that's pretty standard. Here's what I was talking about a little bit earlier. It is your Zelda Symphony, which is the music CD. It goes with a list of, tr of the tracks on the CD on the back. It is actually not this entire list. I know it's probably very difficult to try to read what it says, but it's actually languages. So you can see right here, this is just the, what is on the CD, and then these two down here and here, these are just different languages. It's only this much music on a disc. But it's pretty cool. It's eight different, uh, I guess you call them eight, eight different symphony songs of past Zelda games. You have, I can zoom in a little bit here, maybe you can read a little bit easier comes with the Legend of Zelda 25th Anniversary Melody, Kakariko Village from the Twilight Prince Princess theme, sorry about that, uh, the Wind Waker Symphonic Movement, Gerudo Valley, Great Fairies Fountain theme, Twilight Princess Symphonic Movement, and the Legend of Zelda Main Theme Melody, and then uh, what I believe is the only new song here is the Ballad, Ballad of the Goddess from Skyward Sword. That appears to be the only new song on the list. 
I'm not too sure about that, though. I'll have to look into that. Uh, just a pamphlet for other games you might like. It has Kirby, Donkey Kong, and a Wii Play Motion on it. Uh, game manual. Try to get this out here with one hand. Pretty cool. It's uh, got a lot of color and detail to it. It really does explain the controls very well. Uh, it's actually not very long. I don't know if you can see here, but th actually about only about a third of it until I'll try to find the exact page for you. Yes, right here. This is the actual cutoff for how much of the information is actually in the manual. The rest of it is just two other languages, like the uh, music track CD. It's pretty much the same thing as that. Uh, move that over here. What else do you get? Uh, this is just something to explain how to use a Wii remote. I think everybody who has a Wii pretty much figured that out on their own. Uh, here's the actual uh, Wii Remote Plus, and I did want to mention this, but uh, if you'll notice here, when I press the button down, the light comes on, so it, the batteries are in on this right now, but it's actually batteries I put in on my own. I'll show you this real quick, but uh, empty this out. You actually do get a pack of two batteries with the collector's edition. It comes included, however, I personally did not want to trust these batteries. I have a strong suspicion they're not the best of batteries so I put my own two in just to test out the controller and uh, I did test it out a little bit it is a very good controller oh and one more thing this uh, Wii Remote sleeve and wrist strap are actually included with the controller you do not have to buy this sleeve or wrist strap separately I'm not too sure about if that comes with all Wii Remotes now I know when I bought a couple of standard Wii Remotes a little while ago a couple years back you had to buy the sleeve and the uh, wrist strap separately, I believe. So this is pretty cool. It comes included. A nice little savings right there. Uh, it's actually I got a gold paint on the whole thing, not just the front. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, real quick uh, review. What did what did this cost? Um, when I bought this day one, it was seventy dollars. Now. That might not seem like a lot, especially since Wii games new are only about $50 now. Uh, and it's a pretty good bargain, I have to say. I was somebody who definitely wanted to play this game. However, if you may not know this, it actually requires a Wii Remote Plus or Wii Motion Plus to play it. I did not have that because I saw no actual games other than this that really looked that good that uh, needed it also. So I just never bought that when it came out. And I was thinking, well, I might have to get it for Zelda, but I don't really want it for anything else. I'm going to just wait and wait, and then maybe I'll get it later. This actually is a pretty good bargain for people in my situation who want to play Zelda but do not have a Wii Motion Plus or Wii Remote Plus. Because I believe the last time I checked, a Wii Remote Plus or Wii Motion Plus is $35 to buy. And uh, if you add $35 to the cost of just the standard edition of the game, $50, you're actually ending up at $85 just to play the game. If you got the collector's edition, you got the mo remote and the game, plus the music CD and some other stuff, for $70, which is actually a pretty good savings if you ask me. So, what do I think about this? For $20 more than the uh, standard edition of the game, I do have to say, if you already have a Wii Remote Plus or Wii Motion Plus accessory, you probably do not need this collector's edition. I think it is a good collector's edition, but I don't think it's really one that comes with enough stuff to warrant buying it unless you absolutely need the Wii Remote Plus. I did need it. So that's why I mainly got the Collector's Edition, and for what I wanted it for, it's a pretty good deal. I also recommend this to any uh, Z uh, Zelda series collector or enthusiast. The Golden Wii Remote, it's probably not going to be made for anything else, and I doubt it's going to be just available in a store or something like that. Uh, it's a pretty good little uh, special effect to paint. So uh, if you do not have a Wii Remote Plus right now, I would recommend getting this. It's a great game and a great bargain to get this with the game. And, uh, yeah, I say go for it if you need that. All right, that was just a quick review, guys. First video on this channel. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think. And once again, sorry about the video quality. Once I get my new camera in around maybe Christmas time, I hope the videos will be a lot better. All right, guys, see you next time.